All right, so this is episode two of Call of the Night. A little bit of a recap. We were introduced to our two main characters, Yamari Cole and Nanaksa Nazuna. Uh, Yamari Cole is a 14-year-old boy. He's probably in middle school or in the beginning of his high school, whichever one. And he was confessed to by a girl, but he ends up rejecting her because he doesn't exactly know what love is and he doesn't really know how to date. And instead of just, you know, things going uh, swimmingly as it used to be, he ends up getting verbally attacked by the girl's friends, I suppose. And because of that, he decided not to bother with school anymore. And then after that point, he ends up getting insomnia or he has trouble sleeping, so he ends up wandering the night where he meets up with Nazuna, who we find out later that she is a vampire. After getting his blood sucked and having a nice little conversation with Nazuna, uh, Cole decided that he also wants to be a vampire as well, but he learns from her that the only way to turn into a vampire is to fall in love with said vampire and then have that vampire suck your blood. So now this boy, who we've established doesn't get love, has to fall in love with the vampire. So we'll, we'll have to see whether he ends up doing that towards the end. <laughs> you know, something in my head, it always goes back to it, but it, it, it's just in the back of my head. I'm just like, what if he just finds out that he's just aromantic this whole time? <laughs> What a fucking twist that would have been. Anyways, I do have my full length reaction up on Patreon, which you guys can check out in the description down below. Other than that, let's get started. Oh, time for him to wander out. God, you see how like interesting and beautiful night looks compared to his dull fucking apartment. <laughs> Ah, okay. Boys gotta get to know you more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you're out here talking about copulation, but love is no go. Sure. <gasps> oh, showing, oh, showing his nape and everything. <laughs> what a slime, all right? Such a kinky kid. <laughs> you know, the space of those bite is quite large. What a gap. Mm, so she tells him. Alright. Nice shoes you got here. Is he trying to find Nazuna? Yeah. Maybe she get her phone number, huh? I guess that's the title of this. Do you have a line? Or is it lime? <laughs> At night? Yeah. The lighting? Yeah, it's just eating for her right now. It's not eating and copulation. <laughs> You're cheating on me? Oh, you slutty she devil. <laughs> exactly. Makes sense. She's got to get a little variety in her meal. We copulate. Oh, we're all sluts around here. Yeah, but we wasted time. Ooh, exchange info. Does she have a freaking cell phone? Sure. Do you have a line? Do you line? Do you do line? That just sounds like do you do drugs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, is she who is she going to contact with her cell phone? 
<laughs> That's a butt. Oh, that's old right there. You think that still picks up? A cellular phone. <laughs> yeah, that was the style. Does it still work though? That's the question. <laughs> Carry that big ass- yeah. No, time for you to sleep. <laughs> Looking for people so now I'm tired. Did you actually get to suck blood or no? You know, if this was anything but sucking blood, <laughs> we'd be uh, we'd be in a different direction in its anime. Anyone would be flustered. You're not in love yet. Uh, it's jealousy, so. You know, he hasn't fallen in love yet, so... <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh shit! Look at this little jealous boy. <gasps> oh my god! Maybe you should get a cell phone then. Oh my god. You don't feel tired, you just got your blood sucked. Your energy bar should have gone down. I've been playing too much Sims 4. God, the background of this is just always so, like, fucking huge. Which is nice to showcase, like, the city, the urban area and everything. And how small you are in this area. So this is Cole looking for her yet again. Should just buy her a cell phone at this point. Look at her floating down. It's the same thing. <laughs> Maybe you guys should just plan a meetup if the both of you guys are searching for each other. Oh shit! It's got a plan. A wristwatch transceiver. Well, her last technology was a giant fucking cellular phone. Yeah, I used to have transceivers too. You have friends? <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> well, there, dude. It's gone. You're scared? It's a stranger. Decided to wait for someone to call you? <laughs> Such a sad little game! Good story, right? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yeah, what about the distance, though? I can get that. We all deal with it in different ways. The gap of that bike is like, got smaller. <laughs> Top of the evening to ya. <laughs> She's playing. <laughs> what are these two having a nice fun? What, but copulating is fine? I hope I fall in love soon. Well, you just need to realize what are the symptoms of love. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
shit, the music just kicked in. Okay, it sounds like they're saying ooh in my ears. <laughs> is this also from the same band? Or is this a different one? Is this his school? Never been to school at night before. Well, you've experienced something new. Mm-hmm. That is true. Is the night always this fucking clear? Whoa! Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was at school. <laughs> Talk about indecent behavior. What has she seen? A pen? Forgets. So he realized that? Mm-hmm. Mazuna-chan. <laughs> oh, look at her. So fucking embarrassed. Ah! Mazuna-chan. <laughs> Treat me with respect! What about you? Do you have friends? God, this boy's been out all fucking night. Like, the sun is coming up. It's 4.20 right now. <laughs> yes, what happened to the other trans receiver, huh? <gasps> oh, shit, boy! Oh, the ending. So the girl... Who has the blue trans receiver? What an angle. Thank you. Yeah, the girl with the blue trans receiver. We've also seen her in the opening, so. And it seems like she knows who he is, so. It seems like she's going to school very early, because he's like out at 420 and she's like out there with him. She's just gonna. Oh my god, it's Godzilla. <laughs> she's just freaking buildings. Oh shit! I'm not even gonna talk about the part she just dropped it. <laughs> Creepy Nuts. That's what I wanted to say. I was like, what's the other song also like by Creepy Nuts? I didn't want to say the band name in case I said it wrong. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <sighs> all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go write some notes and we will be back to the center. Oh my god, what a seductive pose that you would do to a vampire. <laughs> now the amount of lines of them calling each other sluts. <laughs> Fantastic. So we did bring up that point again, although we didn't really discuss much on it, but we brought it up just to remind you about Cole's blood being really delicious to Nazuna, who's a vampire and consider that there is the potential of other vampires around, would they also consider his blood to be really delicious? You know, is it just a preference for Nazuna, or is his blood just delicious in general towards all vampires? We'll just have to find out. I think these are the same guys from last episode, right? The guys who uh, went out, got drunk, and then they were all just chilling on the, uh, the bus bench. I had to search up that freaking brick of a phone that Nazuna is holding, and... I believe that they were all the way back in the 70s to the 80s before the 70s to the 90s actually. So she's been she's been around, that's for sure. I actually don't know what is the year for this anime, but I they usually follow the same year that they were published, so I would probably assume around the late 2010s. So yeah. Nazuna, she's been around. <laughs> she's She's, uh, I don't know how old she is specifically, but for right now, we know that she has been around since the 70s. Alright, so that was episode 2 of Call of the Night. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. You know that I always like talking to you guys. For me, I thought that this was a pretty nice follow-up episode. It was, uh, it, it's just them continuing to get along with each other, and then we see the, uh, the fact that it's not always easy for them to meet up. 
So this this episode is just Cole trying to freaking find a way for them to contact each other so then he wouldn't have to spend all this time finding her and she wouldn't have to spend all this time finding him because according to her, she's also looking for him. Other than that, there isn't really too much things for me to say that I haven't already said. I just talked about the fact that they're trying to find each other and Cole's trying to find the thing for them to contact with each other. And then I talked about how at least we've got a grasp on how long Nazuna's been alive with her having that freaking cellular, uh, that giant brick phone. And that brick phone's, you know, probably came around like the 70s, the 80s, so she's been around that time. We don't know if she's been before that time or during that time is when she was a vampire or whatever, but we know that she's she's been around for the most part, you know? We have a just a slight grasp of, of her timeline. And then we have the first scene with Cole and Nazuna uh, meeting up with each other after Cole was going around trying to find her. And when she was talking about how she was just looking for other randos to suck blood from, Cole ends up getting a little jealous of Nazuna because, hey, you fucking slut, how dare you? <laughs> so he gets a little jealous of that, but he doesn't realize that it's jealousy just yet because he's over here like, no, it's, this is something that's normal. Totally, you know, that this is something that's normal between friends and, and whatever, since he still doesn't really understand love and, and romance and all that. Towards the end of that scene, which is in the middle of the episode, when she wanted to get a little suck, sucky suck from him, he goes and he says like, well, why don't you go find someone else? It's that jealousy coming up from him. And again, he doesn't know why he feels that way. And we see from Nazuna that she gets embarrassed and she says that, well, she didn't. I don't believe she gets embarrassed through that. Anyways, she she said that you know, she was embarrassed of saying it initially, and that's why she was just saying that she was going around looking for some randos when in reality she was actually looking for him. So that was a nice scene together between them. And then the one after that is Cole searching for her yet again, but this time instead of trying to get her phone number, which she didn't have, or at the very least, she had a cellular phone, but she's not going to carry that freaking brick around. So he decides to give her a transceiver, a wristwatch transceiver instead, and then he tells her about the story where he got one as a kid, a red and blue one, but he doesn't have friends, which is something that Nazana's just out here laughing at him. What, you got friends, Nazana? Come on, sh show me your friends, albeit I feel like they might be vampires, so <laughs> let's not. <laughs> but we, we basically set up for the girl that's going to appear next episode, where he talked about he left the transceiver on the mailbox and he was waiting for someone to grab it, and when he found out that somebody did grab it, he was going to contact them, but he didn't because... Why would you? It's a it's it's a stranger. You don't know who picked it up, Cole. It's dangerous. <laughs> it's a good thing you didn't contact them. But towards the end of the episode, we see the girl who has his transceiver. She has the blue one that we saw in the flashback, and it seems like she also knows who Cole is. And also, she got up really early. It, it, again, it was like 4:20. <laughs> Before that, the other thing that Cole realized about Nazana was that she gets embarrassed about the topic of love, but she's fine with joking about copulation. I really enjoy that they're saying copulation because I remember reading the manga again and through the fan sub, they just straight up said sex. So I was just like, okay, I mean, I guess we'll just continue saying copulation just because it's a very entertaining word for me right now. Which I find to be very understandable with uh, Nazana getting embarrassed about the, the actual potential reality of romance, especially with her, but she's fine with joking about like sex and all that because it's something that I would assume is very far away from her at the current moment. So she doesn't really care much for this whole copulation thing between humans, considering she's a vampire and well, for her, she says sucking blood can be eating and copulation at the same time. So it's a very different sort of thing for her. So joking about sex, very easy, but the topic of romance, that's still like a big possibility for her, especially right now with Cole, who is trying to fall in love with her. So it's very nice to see that dynamic from Nazuna, but I, 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 overall, I just really like the dynamic between Cole and Nazuna. They're 
they, they, they really only met, I, I don't know how the time has gone at this point, because we've seen two nights, but we don't know whether those are like back to back or if it's been like a couple days apart or anything, but I'm just gonna say they've met each other recently and they're already at this level of just shit talking each other. <laughs> Again, the amount of times they just end up calling each other fucking sluts. <laughs> Fantastic. But yeah, I, I really like this episode. I, I think I already talked- I, I, I really- I, again, I really like the color scheme and, and then I just- I've been really enjoying a lot of like the background shots and especially of just the characters just right there in the tiny little corner and then just the background freaking dawning over us. Uh, again, makes us feel tiny in this urban scenario. So, really enjoy it. Uh, excited to see this new girl. I say as if I don't know who she is, but excited to see this new girl, and yeah, we just go from there. Uh, thank you. Well, I just fucked it up. If I do have anything else to say, I will write it in the description down below. Thank you guys for sticking around, and I will see you guys in the next episode.